wisdom is the consciousness of the art that man and God are one. That's how it ought to be. That's what we're taught. That's how it ought to be. Cause truth don't change. And law is a part of me. Where wisdom is the consciousness of the art that man and God are one. That's how it ought to be. That's what we're taught. That's how it ought to be. Cause truth don't change. And law is a part of me. Where wisdom is the consciousness. Of being conscious that you're conscious of being conscious that you're conscious Cause you can't go back to sleep Or return to the state where I, the prophet, found you Wisdom is the consciousness Of being conscious that you are unconscious Dripping in the cares of the world that almost drowned you The rock of your salvation is only a step away from everything you used to do and everything you used to say and all those awful things you kept around you. Oh, if I can get you to think, I can get you to free yourselves. You are Moorish Americans, be yourselves. Our prophet, no more to Ali, that's what he taught. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, cause wisdom is the consciousness of the art that man and God are one. That's how it ought to be, that's what we're taught. That's how it ought to be, cause truth don't change. And law is a part of me, where wisdom is the consciousness of the art that man and God are one. That's how it ought to be, that's what we're taught. That's how it ought to be, cause truth don't change. And law is a part of me, where wisdom is the consciousness. It is the knowledge of the lower self, lower self. the sensing of powers of man himself. Okay, now let's break down your wisdom. It is the consciousness that man is all. That man is all. That a lot of men are one, but no, it's not. It's not. And power is but illusion. That heaven and earth and hell are not around, above, below, but within. Which in the light of art becomes naught, and Allah is all, all, all mercy, all power, all wisdom, all knowledge, all truth. We got the proof. Make it sure already that man will become the the ladder of salvation reaches from the heart of man to the heart of the Creator. Three steps will make you greater. Believe, faith, fruition. That's the current mission. See it all through and become one with the truth. Wisdom is the consciousness of the art that man and God are one. That's how it ought to be. That's what we're taught. That's how it ought to be. Cause truth don't change. And law is a part of me. Where wisdom is the consciousness of the art that man and God are one. That's how it ought to be. That's what we're taught. That's how it ought to be. Cause truth don't change. And law is a part of me where wisdom is the consciousness. Give me two, three minutes, family. We gonna be starting in a minute. Help me share. Look out for your brother. Help me share, cause that's what I'm doing right now. As you uh, uh, waiting, uh, uh, wonder, man, why it takes so long? Why it takes so long? <laughs> cause I'm trying to share. It. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to share this demonstration. Yeah. 
get you out the bed. And get you out the bed. Get out the bed. The vision don't start there, it starts in the head. I'm here to spread love and get you out the bed. Get out the bed, big bro. Wake up. Right, wake up. I'm coming. I'm spread love and get you out the bed. Wake up. Left. More standing on law, we still in this mess Haven't built the town to hold this down Paperwork can't free us, we living like clowns Never been to the temple, claim we follow the prophet But I follow the prophet and I understand logic People in the temple trying to hit the streets Everybody do their part of we ain't getting relief huh? It's just gone crazy We laced with chemicals we fighting over information, we got some nerve to say that we conscious, we might know a little something, but we just fronting cause we ain't done nothing, we lost. Come on, man. Y'all feel me? What, what's going on with y'all? So family, this gonna be one for the record books. Let's get into it. You know what I mean? Let's get into it. This is gonna be one for the record books. You follow me? This is gonna be one for the record books, family. This is gonna be one of them ones where, you know, uh, I might lose some friends tonight. You know what I mean? I might lose some buddies. I might lose some buddies and friends tonight, family. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are y'all gonna be my friends after this show? Let me. <laughs> is y'all gonna be cool with me? After this show, I might lose some buddies and friends. <laughs> Y'all know talk. I'm going to keep it 100, right? Y'all know I'm going to keep it 100. But anything that I do, as opposed to what other people do, I do my best to show and prove. I'm trying to tell you. I do my best to show and prove. You follow me? So... Let me explain just a briefly, but first let me rise and give praise to the great God of the universe, Allah. I give honor to his noble, illustrious prophet, Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I give a special honor to each and every one of you. I give an honor to the Morris Science Temple of America, all factions, uh, most importantly, the faction that I'm a part of, the Morris Science Temple of America, affectionately known as the Noble Temples. And so family would... I'm going to do tonight is first let me explain something as you look at the flyer right as you look at the flyer many people may assume that I am going to bring some sort of controversy when in fact that I've, I've come to the conclusion I've come to the conclusion that if we don't know what happened to the Morris Science Temple of America, we won't know how to express it to bring out its essence or its greatness in this day and time. In other words, Prophet Noble Drew Ali gave us the best example of how to achieve success in such a small block of time. And that small block of, time, block of time that he showed how we could be successful was between the years of 1925, 26, 27, 28, and 29 was the day or the year that he transitioned. But the highlights was 26, 27, 28. That was truly highlight. I'm talking about the movement just took off like lightning. And... 
I'm talking about businesses all over the place. I'm talking about uh, 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 schools. Every I'm talking about whatever you can name. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali had the best attorneys. You know, um, and when I mean by best attorneys, I'm talking about uh, uh, the same attorney that was the attorney for Nat King Cole. You know, the the, the same attorney that that was 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 for the boxer Joe Lewis. I think that's his name. But also, he had another attorney that was turned out to be a fledging Republican candidate. But what I'm saying is the Prophet Noble Drew Ali was intermingling in all areas of society. You know what I mean? Intermingling in all facets of society for the benefit of us. And it's sad to see that today as I struggle to overcome the black eye that the Moors have been given and others who struggle to overcome the black eye that the Moors have been given over the years. It's a shame that we don't see the example of Prophet Noble Drew Ali in the public today. And in certain parts of this Moorish diaspora, I believe it could be possible overnight. But there's few things that prohibits that from happening. One of the things that prohibits that from happening is you have to see the necessity of it. If we have leaders and don't see the necessity of doing what the Prophet Noble Drew Ali did, then they won't do it. It is what it is. In other words, if we know that the Prophet Noble Drew Ali traveled the country to visit these temples, to make sure that these temples was doing according to what was mandated. In other words, was they excelling in business? Were they excelling in education? Were they excelling politically, socially? If we don't see that's happening today, then what are we crying about? What are we crying about? There is no need to cry and say, what are the Moors doing? If you are part of the Moorish Science Temple of America and you have studied the teachings of the Prophet Noble Dry Lee, the first thing you're supposed to ask, your superior, what are you doing? Because I see that the Prophet did A. Why aren't we doing A? And many times, sometimes, let me say sometimes we have to chalk it up that maybe some people don't know the particulars or specifics of how Prophet Noble Drew Ali moved. We gotta, sometimes we got to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe you don't know exactly how the Prophet ended up in Cuba. Maybe you don't know how the Prophet ended up in why he went to Mexico. Maybe you don't know why the prophet went to the governor's ball. Maybe you don't know why the, why the prophet Noble Drew Ali was so tight with politicians or all the politicians was jockeying for the prophet Noble Drew Ali and the more support. Maybe you don't get that. Okay. In comes Brother Tahaka Bay. If you don't get it, then I'm going to show you, whoever you are, why you should get it and why we should duplicate it. But wait a minute now. There's also a hidden hand. There's also a hidden hand that people don't see. And this hidden hand tries to control the narrative 
as to what the public can digest, understand, and perpetuate. That hidden hand is here today. Make no mistake about it. That hidden hand is here today. Make no mistake about it. You think you don't know? That, listen, the greatest organization, let me tell you something. The greatest organization that ever stepped foot on this side of Africa, the greatest organization that you either have to go to prison or you better have an internet account to even hear about it. This is, I'm talking about the greatest organization that within a short span of three years became a million dollar religious corporation in society. Respected in all areas of society. Respected by judges because they put judges in the seat. Respected by congressmen because they put congressmen in the seat. Respected by aldermen because they put aldermen in the seat. Respected by bankers because they were friends with the banker. But today, what happened? What, what, what happened today? Well, I'm telling you, with all of that progress, with all of that progress, that just don't fade away. All of that progress is hidden away. All of that progress is hidden away. And this brother said, don't forget Marcus Garvey. This show is not about Marcus Garvey. This show is about the hijacking of the nation. What happened to the Morris Science Temple of America? This stuff that we don't know about is hidden from us by design. Because God forbid if you try to duplicate it. God forbid if you try to set up a society. God forbid if you try to set up a religious corporation. God forbid if you start to influence judges. Like we cry about crazy and inappropriate sentencing. What about if you was able to put the judge in the seat? We cry about we cry about police brutality. What about if you was able to put the police commissioner in the position? This is what the Moore Science Temple of America has always been about. In the words of Sharif Anil Bey, not fighting the power, but becoming the power. But why is it that you becoming the power is so hard today? Under the umbrella of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Because let me tell you something. If I was to give you a step-by-step -step book instruction on how to do something, you could be successful at doing it. But once I hide the instructions, you on your own to try to figure it out. And that's what happened to the organization known as the Morris Science Temple of America. Everybody has been on their own to try to figure it out. Until this day, it's very clear that we haven't figured it out. What is the evidence that we haven't figured it out? The evidence that we haven't figured it out is very simple. We haven't duplicated any of the successes of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali and the Moors that was with him. It's very simple. It's not, it's not, this not crazy math. Prophet Noble Drew Ali did this. He said, imitate me. You follow me? We doing this. Prophet Noble Drew Ali produced this. We ain't produce nada. We ain't produce nada. 
So you know what that means? Two things. It's very clear that we're not following the prophet noble duality. It's very clear. That's number one. Number two, we're not following the prophet noble duality for the most part. Most of us earnestly want to, but most of us is not wise enough to try to sit back and understand the construct or the structure of the organization before they try to venture out and demonstrate the organization. I'm going to say it again. Most of the Moors in the Moorish Science Temple of America, regardless of what faction, before they jump out to venture out to try to demonstrate the organization, they don't know the structure of the organization. And I'm going to tell you, not only do, and I'm not talking about in this era of time, I'm talking about since the time that the prophet left the scene. Anyone who ventured out to demonstrate the organization known as the Morris Science Temple of America failed at the structure of the Morris Science Temple of America. And that's why we are in the condition that we're in today. And so, Brother Tahaka Bay, without offense, but unapologetically, I'm going to point out a few things. I'm going to point out a few things that may assist you on your journey so we can get to the bottom and see what the movement is supposed to look like. But in order to get to that, sometimes we got to pull back that ugly stuff. We got to look at that ugly stuff. See, people that don't want you know this information, they'll tell you, oh, they stuck in 1929. Well, let me tell you something. If we want to get out of this mental slavery, we better understand what happened in 1774. If we don't know what happened in 1774, how are we are going to address the condition of our people in 2019? If we want to get out of this whirlwind running around in the desert called the Morris Science Temple of America, if we don't address 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, we're going to be stuck into this situation. We will be stuck into this situation because we refuse to look back and see where we went wrong. I ain't scared to look back and see where we went wrong. Family, I'm only going to give you a little bit on this presentation tonight because I have a long presentation where I'm not duplicating any of the slides that I'm doing here tonight. But what I'm doing is, I'm giving you a brief understanding of what this hijacking is about and how deep it runs. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a brief idea of how the Morris Science Temple of America was hijacked and how deep it runs. But on Saturday, this coming Saturday, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I will be doing the first leg of this presentation called Hijacking of a Nation. I did a brief test run in Atlanta, but I'm gonna do the full demonstration here, coming this Saturday in Philadelphia. Uh, if you want to buy the live stream tickets, it's $25. You don't have to. Oh, why are you charging for information? Because, brother, sister, we got some building to do. We got some building to do. You follow me? We got some building to do, and we're going to get this building done. I put a lot of work in on YouTube for nothing except for, I'm not going to say for nothing because it benefits you when you're uplifted and you're inspired and you say, well, let me look deeper. Because with a two hour or three hour YouTube show, I can never take you where you need to go. So I'm not going to say for nothing because those who benefit from this channel, 
they would consider it to be something. But I'm talking about monetarily. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in to make sure that we have accurate information. And if I'm in error, I have no problem with that. I may be in error sometimes because I'm going to tell you what. Some of this information is so convoluted that if your eye ain't right, you might fall for the okie doke yourself every now and again. So family, you can cash app, but let me tell you again, when you cash app, make sure you leave your email address because your email will be the connection to the link. Your email will be a connection to the link. Without your email, you cannot get the link to the live stream. So family, we're going to get started here in just a minute. Let me see, I thought I had some water here. But whatever the case may be, we're going to get started in just a minute. I do have some water. <laughs> Take that lower self. <laughs> That's all right. All right. So, Nagasse, nationality is flawed. Everybody is of mixed multitude. Let me answer Nagasse. Nagasse, nationality is not uh, so critical of bloodline, brother. Nationality relates to allegiance. This that, that would be just like saying a Chinese person come here and they become naturalized citizen of the United States. And you say, well, they can't be American, they're Chinese. Well, by law, they're officially American. Nationality is not predicated on bloodline, brother. Although we Moors, we demonstrate nationality from the respect of bloodline and allegiance. So we can't go wrong, but nationality is not predicated upon that. So I don't know why people think that if, uh, if, 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 if Donald Trump wife or somebody marry somebody from Africa, uh, 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 Nigeria, and you're an American or a Mexican is born um Mexican is, if a Mexican is born in the United States, uh, I mean, say a Mexican person uh, comes to the United States and they have a child here, you know, that child is still Mexican, but that child is now an American. Yeah, the nationality is, I don't know why people think that. I don't know why people think that nationality, that's not nationality in its truest form. You know what I mean? Like, people think that, that okay, uh, 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 this is mixed people. Da, da, da. Brother, you know what I mean? Who created the term nationality? Brother, in this new era of time, nationality hinges upon nation. It, it relates to the affiliation of the nation or the allegiance of the nation that you belong to. You know, brother, you will have to, let me, let me say this, bro. You will have to join the Noble Temples or a functional Morris Science Temple of America. I'm not talking about these Fugazi temples. You're going to have to join a temple and ask these questions. Brother, we have a class online. You can ask all these questions. I can show and prove step by step. You know, but this is not the place for it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? This is not the place for it. But anyway, we're going to get straight to it. So family, if you don't have a stomach for truth, then, then this might not be your show. You know what I mean? This may not be your show. You know, this may not be your show if you don't have a stomach for truth. You know, and some of this stuff, many people may have seen, but because I have a, a platform, I think it's, 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 it's very good that I have the ability to share it with people who haven't seen it. And I just threw that down like that. So, so let me do this. Let me take this down real quick. Hopefully, y'all will support the live stream. Let me take that down right there. And let me do this here. So hopefully, y'all will support the live stream. I would appreciate it. Um, I think you're going to get a lot of information out of here. Um, as a matter of fact, I know you are going to get a lot of information out of here, without a doubt of contradiction. So the live stream tickets are $25. Uh, and we're going to get started, family. We're going to get started right now. So first of all, family, let, let's be clear. Matter of fact, let's be clear. There is only, 
Man, this this gonna be tough because y'all like get sensitive on me. You know, y'all like to get sensitive on me. There is only one who was left in charge of the Morris Science Temple of America. Let's be clear. There was only one leader left in charge of the Morris Science Temple of America. And this is not a this is not a swing at anybody. This is history. All right? So what I mean by that, when the Prophet Nova Drew Ali decided that there need to be one to be in position in his absence, he chose one. And that's what we're going to deal with. He chose one. And that's just what it is. And the, and the person that he chose is very clearly represented right here. My bad. The person that he closed, chose is very clearly represented right here. Everybody would know him as Brother E. Miliel. He was the grand governor, as it says in this Moorish guide in the Prophet's newspaper, Brother E. Miliel Grand Governor will preside over all Moorish activities, not some, all Moorish activities in Chicago during the Prophet's itinerary to all temples in America. Brother Meliel is one of the foremost and most eloquent speakers of the movement in America and is credited with having made many converts. So let's be clear. When the prophet chose to put one in position, you follow me? When he chose to put one in position, that one he chose was Edward Mealy L. And this is very important because as we, as we go and, and look at what happened, we need to understand why is it that we did not know anything about Edward Meliel for so long. Many of us would, many of us, as I'm not, listen, I've been a part of the Morris Science Temple of America in some capacity uh, since 1990, you know, and everybody had their journey, you know, but I've been around since 1990 struggling to get to the truth. You know what I mean? Let me pull up something real quick. Let me pull up something real quick. So, so, so everybody has their journey trying to get to the truth, and I had mine too, right? And when you begin to look and rediscover the truth, you begin to question what happened, and that's what I did. And in doing so, I continue to find out more and more stuff. But when I was coming through the temple at a young age, oh, you can't see that. I wanted to get um, this, this document that's on back of, that's on back of our questionnaire. And on that back of our questionnaires, you see them names, but I never knew at a young age who Emilio was, you know? I never knew. And as I got older, and I'm talking about way older, you know, stuff began to come out, honor to Brother David Bailey L. Um, stuff began to come out, but I still did not understand who Emiliel truly was as it related to the movement. And time went on and things began to come together. And I found out that he definitely was the one that the prophet put in position in his absence. Let's read this letter. This is a letter said to be from Emiliel. I find it to be authentic. 
written in 1931. And I, and I got it broken down like this because I really want y'all to see. Now, as there was a struggle going on between two different factions, which would be C. Kirkman Bay and E. Maliel, C. Kirkman Bay took E. Maliel to court to try to gain control over the name and the organization known as the Morris Science Temple of America under the leadership of E. Maliel. And so in this correspondence here, it says, many were there when the decision was handed down. Now they claim that the judge never passed his decision. There is no cause for them to be like that. This is Emilio. Listen, I want y'all to take this in. Take in the passion of Emilio. He said many were there when the decision was handed down. In other words, there was a decision handed down in Emilio's favor that he was the one who was left in charge of the Morris Science Temple of America. He was the rightful leader, head of the Morris Science Temple of America. This is just history, family. Now they claim the judge never passed his decision. So I want to stop there for a minute. When he say they claim that the judge never passed his decision, what type of Moorish character is that? Let's be clear. I mean, let's be clear. What type of Moorish character is that? If we were in the courtroom and we know that the judge passed the decision that he is the leader of the movement ran by the founder. And someone says that decision never happened. Take this in, family. This is the hijacking of the nation. It says there is no cause for them to act like that. Only they don't want to be governed by the truth now. Since the prophet passed, and that is, no, since the prophet passed, that is the only hope of our security. Let's check it out. It says, one great hindrance to my people is that they don't understand words of truth, peace, and love as set before them by the great prophet. He said so when he was here. He said so when he was here. And told them if they understood language, they would be all right. I am sorry for them because not knowing they blame me for all that has happened. Yet, when the prophet was here, he told them he brought the divine plans of the ages and they cannot be changed. Family, the reason why I'm doing this is because the plan appears to be changed and we are off track. It says, and the plans are called the plans of redemption. You follow me? And this redeemer called me. This is Emil Yell talking. This redeemer called me, ordained me, commissioned me, and, uh, and then appointed me to my station. Understand? He called me ordained me, commissioned me, then appointed me to my station and instructed me that I was to stay at his absence. This is Emil Yale talking now. That's Emil Yale talking now. Family. Listen, this is a holy and divine movement. Once you change anything, it's no longer on the holy divine vibration. Once you change anything, it's no longer on the holy and divine vibration. We must put the pieces together to put it back 
on the holy and divine vibration. That's the purpose that I do what I do. Let's look at the bottom of the letter. He says, I'm going to start with time and space won't permit me to say all you want to know or what I would like to tell you, but I say as I have to give you who don't know or have not had the chance to know the prophet or be with him as I was. I had and have a reason for everything I did or I or have done and can and will prove my authority and can and will prove my authority by his holy Quran and constitution and his general laws and bylaws. But the idea is this. The plans are divine. And we are going through a crisis and conflict that must be before we can be redeemed. I hope I've made myself clear. If I haven't, write me. I love all. I haven't a pet any place. No special favors for any. Considerate with any. Under the five great principles, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I hope to hear from you all soon. And if you expect to meet the Prince of Peace and with joy to our souls, we had better begin to think, talk, and walk and act different. This email, he'll talk and listen to the spirit, feel the spirit. He was made, listen to this. This is what I will be pointing out. Let me put my whiteboard out. I have so much information that I'm going to share with you that you can see that after this was put out that somebody played games, right? And I'm going to show you real quick and give you a glimpse of how I lays out, of how I lay out the uh, this demonstration. People are so People be tripping so hard, right, that they think that can't nobody figure this stuff out. But listen to this. Something is missing here. Something is missing here. Some name been whited out. Something was missing here. And I'm going to show you how we know this. The reason that we know this is because... I'm going to share something with you. I hope to hear from you all soon. And if you expect to meet the Prince of Peace with joy in your souls, we had better begin to think, talk, and walk different. Then it says, he was made in secret. In the public, he was unmade. Get a program of 1929 convention if you haven't won. Sinful one. Who is the he he's talking about? He was made in secret. In public. He was unmade. Y'all don't get that? Y'all better get this. Y'all better get this. Get this hijacking of a nation. Y'all better get this live stream. Listen. The whole letter is in, is in cap letters. The whole letter is in caps. There's something missing here. He says he was made in secret. But you're going to get it by the end of this end of this presentation. In public, he was unmade. Get a program of the 1929 convention. If you don't have one, send for one. I have one. Read and think. And you will out that program or print it before the convention convenes. In other words... And you will out that the programs are prevented before the convention convenes. In other words, there is something in the convention program 
that actually was fixed at the convention, but the program was not changed because it was made prior to the convention. Now, trust in the law through his prophet and live on. Follow anyone else and perish. Love to all. Email Now that one might have went over your head a little bit. I hope not. That one could have went over your head a little bit. Like I said, I hope not. Because in reality, in reality, Emil Eel is laying it down. But you have to understand what you're looking at. And in, and in the uh, myth of the Supreme Grand Sheik, I mean the myth of the Supreme Grand Sheik, in the new presentation, I'm going to break it down for you. Somebody is doing and has done a cover-up. And as long as we have a cover-up, we will not know what this movement looked like. That's the bottom line. We will not know what it looked like. It is what it is. But I'm going to show you what it looked like to the best of my ability. Let me make sure my computer ain't ain't running real slow. Because, you know, when I start talking like this, my computer start acting up. It get a mind of its own. I be like, man, what's wrong with my computer? Well, I got a mind of its own all of a sudden. We was doing good when we was doing the trial run, but now we live, and now there's a problem. So let me let me, let me me make sure I'm good. Let me make sure I'm good, family. If y'all like this, man, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, give your brother a thumbs up. You know, support the channel. Um, Let me... Get right there. Support the channel. Um, definitely send yourself a donation uh, uh, because when you help us, we help you. You know, and this is definitely uh, uh, something that needs to be supported. Uh, Moorish World TV, as well as this lecture, um, as well as the Moorish Village. Y'all know my hands are full. I know the members in the in the, in the, in the um. And in and, and, and our temple, like, brother, we'll never get my stuff. You know what I mean? But it's, it's coming. It's coming real soon. Like Thursday, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to make sure that everybody get everything they're supposed to get. But let me get back on task real quick. Um, can I get an actual source and not from Wikipedia? What source do you need? Tell me what you need, brother. What source do you need? You need to tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Hurry up. Source of what? What you want? You ain't the source for what? What did I put out? Tell me what you want. You gotta tell me what you want. I need to know what you want. For what? The article I just put out? Tell me what you want. That's from the archives. Go meet D. Bailey. He got some stuff for you. Braswell Bay got some stuff with for you. Go check them out. They got it. You know what I mean? Now. Let's get to the next part. Let's see if I can. Okay. Anybody that choose to support, put that in there. You can always cash app at Noble Temples. Yeah, cash app at Noble Temple. You know what I mean? The name of the case. Oh, oh, we're gonna get that in a minute. We're gonna get to that in a minute. We're gonna get that to we're gonna get to that in a minute. Calm down. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna give you everything. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to give you everything today. Don't trip off that. This is just a, a, a Morris World TV presentation. I'm not going to give you everything today. You know what I mean? But here we go. Now, let's read this letter here. Another one from Email EL. This was the letter that I just read. And this is not another letter. This is the letter that I just read. And when you go over this letter, you can see how things have been taken out. I went over this letter thoroughly. I went over it thoroughly. And I can tell that there was whiteouts going on here. That's what I just pointed. But this is the letter that I just read. I went over this thoroughly, without a doubt. So, all right, let's move on. Let's see what else I got here. Now, family, as I said, 
if you don't have a stomach for truth and historical account, this might not be your show. It just may not be your show. But we're going to move on anyway. This here is another letter from Email EL. Typed out, of course. Now, a lot of these letters have been retyped, but the originals are close by. Matter of fact, I got four different retypes of certain letters. You know what I mean? So here we go. Now, some of those, now, now some of those who are with him as against the prophet. Then I'm only reading a little bit of this. And I say against the prophet because when you fail to recognize the man the prophet appointed and give him your cooperation and support, you have virtually turned down the prophet for someone else. Right? He said, when you have turned down the man that the prophet appointed, you have virtually turned down the prophet. He was made in secret. In the public, he was unmade. And I'm going to share that with you too. Remember, hold that thought. He goes on to say, And those I know of, according to the ways and actions and works, Brother T.W. Olson, Osley, 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 Milwaukee, Brother F. Nelson Bay of Detroit, Brother C. Childs Bay of Cleveland, Sis M. Cliff Bay, Indianapolis, Sis Dove L. Chicago, and I got those circles for a reason because there's a reason why those names are circled. But you have to see the hijacking of the nation to understand why those names are circled. It's very important. Emilio say, these don't write me when I write them because I won't accept Kirkman Bay as in place of Drew Ali. And I never do. Well, the time is proving all true according to the divine plans. Friend, you got to understand what was in the cards. All is true according to what was in the divine plan. He said, children, there won't be but a few saved because you are not going to do what I tell you. Your way you want, your way you are going to have. But your way leads downward, children. This is why we haven't risen up yet. But your way leads downward, children. So you better do like I tell you. If you do like I tell you, there is a chance for you. If not, there is nothing for you but death. Quote, unquote. He's quoting the prophet. They govern themselves by the majority. Listen, they govern themselves by the majority, which is all right. If the majority is right. On the other hand, if only one is right, that one is the majority. That's Islam. But they don't want to run, but they want to run the more science temple of America according to the principles of Christianity or politics. I'll give y'all the rest of that later. Let me stop that right there. Everything that I do, I will be giving all these slides up and even some more. But when you listen to the spirit of Emiliel, he's actually pleading not to let it go this way. Family, what happened to the Morris Science Temple of America? This hijacking of the nation is very necessary. We need to know what happened. We just didn't pop up and can't find our way to success. This thing is by design. 
I'm telling you, it's by design. Family. Better believe that this thing is by design. Let's see what else we got here. I'm just randomly throwing stuff. You know what I mean? Let's see what else we got here. These are all our brother email the L. See if I can spread them out just a little more. Yeah, man. So, this shows that email the L was appointed, anointed, and consecrated, and here's his letter. This is his letter of advancement and promotion. Emilia is going above and beyond to show people that he was put in position to carry on and unfold the movement to the next level. Let's check him out. He says, let me get it right real quick. Matter of fact, I'll let you see this one. He says, in June, in June the 1st, and on June, no, no, join the movement January 1st, 1927. I want y'all to listen to this, Claire. Oh, oh, that's, that's in the third part, Solomon Roz. But yeah, they reached out and touched them, brother. But that's in the third installment. The third and final installment of hijacking of the nation. They reached out and touched our brother Emil Yale. But here we go. He said, join the movement January 1st, 1927. And on June the 1st, 1927, I was approved and appointed by the prophet. Noble Drew Ali as the first assistant chairman. Now let's look at the rationale. 1927, January, he joined. January, Feb February, March, April, May, June. In five months, he became the assistant chairman of Temple Number no. One. But now, in some circles, it's a lot of hoops you got to go through before you even achieve any degree of responsibility. In five months, the prophet advanced Emil Eel. In five months. Right? So it goes on to say, and the following approved appointment, see, one thing you have to understand, the system of the Morris Science Temple of America, the system, the system of the Morris Science Temple of America founded by the Prophet Nobu Ali is not uh, hinged upon elections. It's upon appointment and approval. In other words, it's just like, uh, um, just like, I guess you would call it an appointment to the Senate. And then they have a confirmation. See, you have to understand all these particulars in order to unfold it to the point where it's supposed to be. But it goes on to say, the following, the, and following the approved appointment, I had the support of the entire grand body. You follow me? With the unanimous... Make sure I get this right. Let me look at it. Oh. I think it said with the unanimous consensus on behalf of the prophet, choice and appointment. See, the Morris Science Temple of America is not ran by votes. That's just not how it's ran. It's ran by appointments. And those appointments must be confirmed or approved. It goes on to say, and in August, the first of the same year, I received appointment from the prophet as general chairman. 
Y'all see the whole thing? Again, he's appointed to general chairman of the said Morris Science Temple of America and was made Grand Sheik under the prophet in February 1928. So one year, one year, he became Grand Sheik of Temple Number One by the divine, by the divine prophet Drew Ali. This promotion by the prophet took place in the first setting, and I love how Emilio explicitly, man, man the prophet taught him well. He tells us that in the first setting of the Supreme Grand Council, in the first setting of the, the Supreme Grand Council, representing the Morris Science Temple in a public meeting. See, this is the thing. You, it's hard to deny something that happened in public. This all happened in a public meeting. How do we get off the path when something happens in a public meeting? Family, again, my argument is the same. My argument don't change. We will never receive the successes that the prophet and the Moors received if we don't do it like the prophet and the Moors did it. That's my argument. This is why I say I move as the Moorish Science Temple of America style as the noble temples. Because I see the pieces. I see the pieces. I see the pieces. And I understand why we don't have the successes. Now, I mean... Now, in the month of November 1928, the prophet made it very plain in three statements that he was the supreme head. Bro, me, El Meliel was the supreme grand sheik next to me. He's quoting the prophet. And that means all the temples in this what? Government. All the temples in this government. This is a government family. If we're not referring to ourselves as a government or working towards being that government, what are we doing? What are we doing? Email you, but not only there. I've, I've, I can show many places where this is referred to as a government and a society during the time of the prophet. Why we ain't talking government? Interchangeable with the Morris Science Temple of America. This is how the Taj Tariqs get off track. This is how the Moorish American government get off track. This is how, uh, 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 what's them, um, consular courts get off track. Because no one knows how to teach government interchangeable with Moorish Science Temple of America structure. Oh, but we know. Oh, but we know. We know. It's just going to take some time. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take the same three years that the Prophet Noble Drali and the Moors did if we're doing it right. But it goes on to say, and there is but one Moorish Science Temple of America, and that's mine, Noble Drali. That means something different to me today. You know what it means to me? You know what that means to me? That you only going to produce what the Prophet Noble Drew Ali produced if you demonstrate his Moorish Science Temple of America. You can call yourself what you want. There is one Moorish Science Temple of America. And until you can demonstrate it like the Prophet laid it out, you can call yourself what you want. 
You can call yourself what you want, but you're going to have to demonstrate and produce what the prophet produced. And then you will be recognized, you will be elevated, you will be celebrated, and liber liberation will be at hand by your people. It is what it is. Let's go on. It says, and there is but one more science temple of America, and that is mine, Noble Drew Ali. And at an official meeting in February 1929, now I want y'all to pay attention to February 1929, because this is when the trick started really happened. The tricks started happening in February 19th between December and March. December 28th and March 1929, the tricks really begin to happen. Y'all got to see the hijacking of the nation. And I'm going to give it to you raw. I mean, Al Moore L, this is history, brother. This is not conflict, this is history. He said, an official meeting in 1929, I was made shepherd of his flock by him and was told by him to feed his lambs and his sheep. That same month, February 1929, I was called by the prophet and told to come help him to carry on his work. Family, this is serious business here. This is serious business. Email he would say when you when you refuse to acknowledge the one that the prophet appointed, then you deny the prophet. That's some real talk, family. That's just real talk. This ain't personal. This is like real history here that I'm showing you. Goes on to say, man, this is some deep stuff, family. Oh, man. I don't know what to pull out next. You know what I mean? So, one thing you need to know is that See what I want to pull out next. This is some tough stuff here, man. <laughs> this is some tough stuff right here. So, family, let's just go with this. During these troubled times, many people wanted to, desired to put brothers in position to live out their aims, their aspiration, as opposed to follow what the prophet laid out. And it's a sad thing that Many people try to prevent this from happening. But it's like, and I've studied this history so closely. Honor to uh, uh, my brother, R. Ewazel, you know, that put me on a journey to start to discover and research a lot of things. But it's like, I don't know if people can relate to street stuff, but I'm going to put it in two ways. Say, for instance, in the streets, right, somebody cross you. Like me, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. I don't want to hurt nobody for real. I'm going to defend myself and may hurt somebody, but I don't want to hurt nobody. That ain't even my character. That ain't even my spirit. But I am the type of guy that if... If I got to deal with it, I'm going all the way to the limit. You know what I mean? Got bail money. I got lawyer money. I'm going all the way to the limit. But my character is not to hurt anybody. When I was younger, I, I, man, I had one hit of quitters. Bam, bam. And, man, I start praying for the person after they fell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
that's the type of person I always been. I always had some sort of empathy for people. So that's not me. But my point is this. Imagine somebody in your squad, and this is from the street perspective, imagine somebody in your squad is crossed and you telling your homeboy or your homegirl, now nah, it's not that serious, but your homeboy like, nah, we're going to take care of this. You're like, nah, it's not that serious. Let that ride. Nah, we're going to take care of this. And this friend of yours will not let it ride. There's nothing you can do to convince him. Now, in your heart of hearts, you know, you know that this brother is going overboard. I mean, we know that this brother is going overboard. However, we can't stop him. So you're going to have some in the crew that's just going to ride with him because that's their man. You're going to have a few that say, man, forget it, man. It's not that serious. That's how that situation was. Many people was trying to convince those who were separating from Email Eel not to do it. They was trying to convince them not to do it. But the group that had separated from the grand body in Email Eel they wasn't budging. Their mind was made up. There was nothing you could do to turn them around and turn them back to joining Email Eel and the Prophet's grand body. It just wasn't going to happen. And that's just one main faction at that time. You follow me? So... Let me read something real quick. PSA. This show and presentation is not about the nation of Islam or any other group that came after the motion. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so, what I'm going to share with you now is little pieces of minutes where you can see that in 1934, they were trying to fix the wrong. Let me see. Oh, that, oh that, I think that one. Two, two. Let me see. Okay. So in a meeting, in this meeting, with those who separated from Prophet Noble Drew Ali, email Eel appointment, Brother T. Rhodes Hill, and I got it highlighted, he says, first of all, Sister M.D. Ali, that's Mary Drew Ali, and that's what we're going to talk about at the high, I mean, yeah, the hijacking of the nation, right? You follow me? Now, Sister Mary Drew Ali was the next speaker. She read the third chapter of the Holy Quran and said, the home office have been destroyed. This is for the Braswell Bay guys. She said the home office has been destroyed by the vice of the Supreme Grand Advisor. Now, this is minutes. I'm not, these are minutes. You follow me? I'm reading minutes. And in minutes, and if anybody know how minutes work, minutes is on the record and for the record. It's a legal thing when you call it minutes, right? But let's listen to Brother T. Rose L. It says, T. Rose L. made the following statement. He said, we elevated Brother C. Kirkman Bay, Supreme Grand Advisor, behind closed doors and through a mistake. Now, this is not from the email Eel side saying this. This is from the side that positioned our brother C. Kirkman Bay in the position 
where they assumed him to be leader. So it says, we elevated Brother C. Kirkman Bay Supreme Grand Advisor behind closed doors and through a mistake. The prophet laws, the prophet law has not been carried out. And it seems that you don't want to carry it out. Temple number one will always be. If temple number one have not done anything, how did they make great, great such uh, uh, such great preparations? What they was talking about is how Emiliel made great preparations uh, uh, for the convention, I'm suspecting. Anyway, it goes on to say, Sister Dub L, who wouldn't speak to email L. Grand Sheik is a temple number nine, Chicago, Illinois. And you got to understand what this is all about. But you know that in the, in the myth of the Supreme, I mean, in the myth of the Supreme Grand in the hijacking of the nation. There has never been a time when temple number one called and temple nine did not answer. If we are the children of one father provided for by his care and the breast of one mother is giving you suck, we did, we have, why did we have hatred in our hearts for one another? If we do not unite among us, how shall we have strength? The prophet laid the rock and is a solid rock, a sure foundation stone. Temple number nine is trying to carry on love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. But family, that is even misleading. When you understand the history behind temple number nine, we need to understand these things. And I'm going to tell you why, so we, can, so we don't repeat these mistakes. Here's a little bit more conversation. It is a matter of fact that we cannot thank for our brother. If so, we would have thought something prior to 1925. In other words, why are we thinking that we got the answer? Because if we would have had the answer, we would have had the answer before 1925. He said, I was there. Many in this audience were there. But most of us could think of nothing else but toil. That's when Prophet Noble Drew Ali came on the scene. They say when Prophet Noble Drew Ali came on the scene, they could think of nothing but toil. It says, the prophet came to, I think it's a, the prophet came to us in due time and demonstrated to us. He read from the Moorish Guide shortly after convention of 1928. The reason why we have such great calamities is that we do not apply the law. I can prove it to you before I sit down. And any business meeting of the National Convention. These are those that moved from being close to Emiliel and moved with Kirkman Bay and that and and, and, and that uh, uh, faction at that time. It is not my intentions to exclude any member of this temple. I say, we heads made a mistake in 1929. When the prophet was in flesh, at two o'clock, all members met and heard what was going on. This convention is to get back on Noble Drew Ali's path and walk therein. The prophet gave us a law to be the guidance of the nation. He read from the Moorish Guide regarding per capita tax. There were only two grand governors appointed by prophet, by the prophet in the whole United States of America. Namely, Brother Lomax Bay and T. Crumley Bay. Now, the point that I'm making with this is that 
those are recognizing what went wrong. Something went wrong. Family, when you dig deeper into this, you actually see what really went wrong. With the hijacking of the nation, you actually really see what went wrong. And you find out that it's easily, it's fixable. Even in this day and time, it's fixable. All we got to do is what the brother just said, get back on the prophet's path. It's easily fixable. You follow me? Easy. Let me share a few more things with you. What's this here? Listen to Brother Kirkman Bay. As Akhenaten says, check out bro Emilio Humility. Islam. Bro C. Kirkman Bay. This is to notify you that the above-named organization, Morris Science Temple of America, in convention September 15, 1920, rescinded by voting out the mistake made by the second annual convention in 1929. And in doing so, you hold your membership role. as when our prophet was here. And we hope you will still cooperate with the organization under the five principles. We hope further that you will comply with this notice and govern yourself accordingly. And govern yourself accordingly. As there is but one Supreme Grand Advisor in the Morris Science Temple of America. That being noble, Drew Ali, and any else attempting to be from now on is assuming authority of himself and is liable to the penalties of the law. Peace. Morris Science Temple of America, noble Drew Ali founder, email EL chairman, Forster's Hall, 44th and State Street. So family, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the rubber meets the road. We need to understand, and somebody asked in the chat, so do we join an email EL temple? What is an email EL temple today? What is that? See, we need to get out of fantasy world. What is an email EL temple today? You know what I mean? What is it? Just because someone said they honor Emilio? But if you don't know the structure of the Morris Science Temple of America, then it doesn't make a difference who you join anyway. Listen, you got people that have been honoring Emilio for the last 20, 20 years. They haven't produced much either. So what is an Emilio Temple? What has to happen is, what has to happen is we have to demonstrate email Yale. We have to demonstrate Prophet Noble Drew Ali. But the only way that we'll be able to do that, we have to see Prophet Noble Drew Ali for what it is. We can't make this stuff up as we go along. We have to understand that the grand body holds certain or facilitate certain authority and that the Supreme Grand Council was not abolished and it also holds a balancing authority. You see, we need to understand what the Supreme Grand Governors are or the Grand Governors are, I mean to say, and what a governor is. We need to understand what a sheik is. We need to understand what an ADAP is. We need to understand what a divine minister is. Is a sheik an ADAP? Is, a, is, a, is an ADAP a sheik? Is a sheik a divine minister? Is a divine minister a sheik? See, these basic things people don't know. 
How can you run as government or a society if you don't we know these basic things? You don't know what the Supreme Grand Council is for. You don't even know the functionality and the position of the Supreme Grand Council, so of course you just disregard it. You don't know what the position or the, or, or the functionality of a grand body. So how can we bring forth the success that the prophet brought forth? It's impossible. It's impossible. You know, you got people like Taj Tariq Bey talking about a national uh, uh, grand sheik. Where did he get it from? What makes him a grand sheik? You follow me? A grand sheik is a head of a temple. What temple is he a head of? A grand sheik is a temple head. Now, what? How many? How many people run around with sheik on their name? They don't know what that is. You got a brother, sheik. Tyrone, one week. Next week, he's Grand Sheik Tyrone. Honor to the sister Monique. She was running around with the sister, with, with uh, 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 Sheik is Monique. But I've noticed she take that off now. Honor to that sister. That is a sacred title. That is handed down by one that is handed down by one that was handed down to them by the prophet. That's a sacred title. And when we lose the sacredness of our titles, we ain't getting nowhere with it. Family, that's very basic. This basic information. You know, the reason why the Morris Science Temple of America has not duplicated what the prophet has done is because many of us don't know. We don't know the structure of government. Why would Emilio call it a government? Do you know the governmental structure of the Morris Science Temple of America without making it up? Can you prove it to me? Can you prove it to me? Can you document, can you show me documents and prove it to me how this thing works? Most of y'all can't. How does the Morris Science Temple of America has the ability to call itself a government? I mean... How? And the brother said he read Pleasant Bay book. Brother, that book is totally fugazi. Totally fugazi. Because there was no Moorish American government during the time of the prophet, but they was calling the, the organization a government. In other words, there was no outside. There were no outside entity called the Moorish American government. The government consistent was consistent within the body of the Morris Science Temple of America. But who knows the functionality of it? Emilio say they trying to turn this, they want to uh, 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 move on the principle of Christianity. They want to move on the principles of Christianity. Do you know what that means? They want to move on the principle of Christianity. They want to make you subservient to a leader. As opposed to create leaders. See, the prophet created leaders. The prophet created leaders. The prophet created James Lomax Bay, who was, who was basically the father of Orthodox Islam. He was the most successful with it. After he, after, he, after he crossed the prophet and made it back. The prophet was the father. He was the father of Islam in America. He was the father of Islam in America. But if we don't know the structure, we ain't going to get it right. We ain't going to get it right. We ain't gonna get it right. We can follow all of this. We follow the buddy buddy club all we want. Oh man, he's such a nice person. Oh, that's an excellent speaker. Oh, da, da, da. But, man, listen. If we ever want to unfold, if we ever want to unfold into this ideal that is divine. Then I think we need to get with somebody who know 
and that can show and prove. Not something that's going to talk you to death. Not someone that's going to talk you to death. Somebody, you need somebody to show you, okay, this is how this government works. Okay, this is how this divine creed works. Okay, this is how this society works. Okay, this is how this grand governor works. Okay, this is how this grand sheik supposed to work. This is how this governor supposed to work. This is how this secretary supposed to work. This is how the national publicity director supposed to work. This is a nation. But if nobody knows how to function within the capacity of position, we ain't going nowhere. I ain't going to say we, because we at the Board Science Temple of American Noble Temples, we slow, we slowly moving like, like we supposed to be moving because we look at the prophet example and we move on it. We got some kinks to work out because we ain't the one saying. I, we ain't the one saying that we the prophet grand body. We ain't the one saying that. We look at the prophet work and say, how can we demonstrate it? We look at the prophet structure and say, how can we birth it? Because anything other than that is uncivilized. Because on one side, they have not, they not, they don't have a broken chain. There is no more assigned simple of America on the face of the earth that has an unbroken chain connected to the prophet. Not one. Not one. There is not one. There is not one Morris Science Temple of America that has been unbroken since the time of the prophet. And I take all challenges. I take all challenges. Not one. But what I will tell you is that that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. The bad thing is when we try to lie and act like that is an unbroken connection to the prophet. All the way from 29 to 2019. To try to convince somebody that you're legitimate. I mean, that you're legitimate. You follow me? So the point of the matter is that we have to get back on track. Unapologetically. If you say you love the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, if you say you love the Morris Science Temple of America, you know what I mean? If I can answer that in a minute. If you say you love the Morris Science Temple of America, Join people that are trying to build on the profits program. And so Mick Lovin said, so there is no, so legally there is no legitimate. Let me see. That to answer that question would be like saying this. Just because someone claimed to be legal and lawful, that don't necessarily make it right. So I'm not going to disqualify anybody, you know, here on Facebook of not being legal. But now if I'm challenged, I disqualify whoever. But the point that I'm making is legal don't mean right. Legal don't mean right. You follow me? And legal president for Kirkman Bay is vital, 1927. Bro, I'm not going to touch that right now. But Al Moore L, I could eat that alive. I could eat that alive. Al Moore L, I could eat that alive. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Legal McLovin, let me give you a hint on this. When I say legal don't mean right, you say legal mean enforce, forcible. Not in a religious context. Freedom of religion protects. Freedom of religion protects anyone who demonstrates from a religious uh, 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 perspective. 
freedom of religion. So the legal don't mean right, and it's your religion's right, as the prophet told us, to demonstrate this. You follow me? Understand what I'm saying. Hear me clear. Hear me clear. Legal may mean certain things in other arenas. But in religion, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. And religion is a little bit different. And this is why the prophet took the movement from a civic to a religious corporation. It's a little bit different. Now, it's a little bit different. But that's a whole nother story. I've studied this front to back, up and down, all around. You can't run now. <laughs> can't run. I mean, you cannot run from this. I've, I've studied too much. Listen, I love the Prophet Noble Ali. I love my people. I've studied to the point where I've, I look at every argument. I've looked at every argument. I'm ready to address any argument. I'm ready to address any argument so we can move on and demonstrate the profit structure. So we can have, so we can have the Supreme Grand Council to act as our Supreme Court. So we can have our grand body in its full capacity or authority. You got to get that lesson joining the temple. I mean, so this person say, why join the temple when they've clearly been infiltrated? Brother, do it, brother or sister, do it sound like I'm infiltrated? Do it sound like I'm infiltrated? Join the noble temples. Or is that just an excuse? There you go. Join noble temples. At gmail.com. Do I sound infiltrated? Or is that just an excuse? You know what I mean? Where you at? Is, is, is that just an excuse? Because cause we keep talking about infiltration. But I'm sitting up here giving you the information so we can get up out of this situation. You ain't got the matter of fact, whether you join Noble Temples, if you are in Atlanta, Temple Number 19, there is some good temples out there. There is some good temples out there. You don't gotta join us. And and look, you good? I'm in Chicago. You can join from Chicago. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we got we got we got something coming in Chicago real soon. Real soon. You might need to be on the staff in Chicago. You follow me? We got something coming in Chicago way before man, listen. <laughs> we don't need excuses. We need workers. We need to get this done. So, so Balak L says, what's the difference between noble temples and other temples? I'm not going to speak for other temples, but I'm going to tell you about noble temples. The Morris Science Temple of America, affectionately known as noble temples, we affectionately uh, call it noble temples and respect and honor of our noble prophet, noble Drew Ali, but also to make sure it gives some sort of differentiation uh, in uh, clarifying who we are. But we are the Morris Science Temple of America. Now, the difference is, is that we of the Morris Science Temple of America, affectionately known as the Noble Temples, we look at all the records that we can find of the prophet as it relates to the structure of the organization. As I, spoke, as I spoke about earlier. The Morris Science Temple of America is supposed to metamorphose into a government, right? It's supposed to metamorphose into a government. And so I have thumbed through, read to my eyes, my big old eyes is got lines flowing through them like I've been drinking for 24 hours. I done read so much, I studied so much on the topic that I've come to see what the structure looked like. 
during the time of the prophet. And as I see what the structure looked like, now we have begun to implement that structure. Honor to my brother Fenty Bay, who is the chairman, acting chairman, and um, Bethlehem PA. He's in the chat. The national representative, the assistant uh, uh, national representative of the Morris Science Temple of America, Akhenaten. He's in the chat right now. We got a few other our members in the chat from around the country. And so, bottom line is this. We look at, you know what I mean? No, the noble temples are not a part of any grand body. As we work towards to unfold the structure of the Prophet Noble Jirali, we do our checks and balance along the way. No, we're not a part of any grand body. No. But we do highly honor my brother and my friend, David Bailey L. David Bailey L., uh, I instruct our members to honor our brother, our friend, David Bailey L., who um, I uh, uh, was fortunate enough to go through the chamber with. Um, I've also, fortunate enough, became a divine minister with. Um, I've learned so much under David Bailey L., and I would never deny him, disrespect him. Uh, he doesn't deserve any disrespect from anybody from my book. And if somebody does disrespect them, we're going to do a whole investigation and expose it on Morris World TV, whoever come at David Bailey Hill sideways. But the point of the matter is, is that when we look at the world, we don't see the prophet's movement. And so we have decided that we have to put it on the ground. Now, we're not saying that people want to join us. This is going to take some work. Everybody don't want to work. And that's fine. But wherever I look at, I wherever I look, I don't see the mirror image of the prophet's movement. I love my brothers and sisters. I love, you know what I mean? I love to uh, um, intermingle with my brothers and sisters from any more science temple of America. And some might even take this personal. But those who love me, those that know me, grand sheiks from around this Moorish nation, they know I'm telling the truth, whether they say it or not. I mean, whether they say it or not. So should Noble Temple sit down with other grand bodies? Let me tell you something. I will sit down with anybody. I've, listen, there is not one grand body that I haven't pressed the palm of their leader, except for Ross Adiel. There is not one grand body who members that we don't have some type of cordial or affectionate relationship. There is not one. There is not one grand body here. Can you bank? Just got off the phone with him the other day, two days ago. You know what I mean? That there is not one body on this earth that I'm not affectionately connected to. But I just still have to tell the truth as it is. Just because I love my mother, that don't mean uh, uh, that I'm going to let her walk around with a booger on her nose. I'm not going to let my mother walk around with a booger on her nose. Oh, my mother get up at age and she go use the public restroom and toilet paper uh, trailing down her behind like she got a tail. I got to say something. And that's how I feel about the Mover Science Temple of America. Follow what I'm saying? So with that family, I implore you. I implore you that if you are in uh, to understanding what happened to the Morris Science Temple of America uh, deeper than what I've shared with you tonight, you always welcome to purchase yourself a ticket. Purchase yourself a ticket and um, join me on Saturday. I will be going live one more time and that will be on Thursday. I don't know what I'm going to touch on Thursday because I can't give too much away. You know what I mean? I'll be wanting too much. So I can't give too much away. You know, but um. 
I'll be going live again. You know, uh, maybe I might talk about the court case. You know what I mean? I might talk about the court case. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody send this brother, my brother, the email. Right here. Okay, he just sent the email. It's long. It's long. And the thing is, man, listen, we, we got to be ready to work. You know what I mean? We got to be ready to work. You know, we got to build this more refined, simple of America. Nobody's going to build it for us. No one will build it for us. It is what it is. We're going to have to build this demonstration. You feel me? And so, if we're going to build it, let's get busy. If we not, just get out the way. That's all. Ain't nothing wrong with getting out the way. It's okay. Just get on out the way so we can build it. You know what I mean? And support. Send a dollar. If you feel as though you ain't got what it takes to help build this demonstration, send a dollar. Send a dollar to the Noble Temples. Right there. Help us buy a paintbrush as we build this Moorish village. You know what I mean? Shout out to my brother. Um, what's my brother's name? Shout out to my brother. What's my brother's name, man? Ah, uh, one second. I got to look at this up real quick. Shout out to my brother, uh, Her Earl Harrison Bay. And I call him Bay, that's right. Earl Harrison, who last night gave us uh, $10 and uh, 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 always support. Uh, but he better be sending me some recipes since I'm a vegan. I mean, a vegetarian now. You know what I mean? So that's what he better be sending me some recipes. <laughs> nah, that's what. <laughs> Let me leave him alone before he get mad at me and don't send me that. You know I mean? I need some recipes, fam. I'm trying to tell you. I'm, 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 I'm vegetarian. I don't know when to eat half time. You know what I mean? But anyway, so family, I will be in Philadelphia, all right? I will be in Philadelphia. Let me find this, find this uh, demonstration real quick before I get out of here. I will be in Philadelphia. And we're going to be talking about the Murray Drew Ali factor in Philadelphia. We're going to be talking about, you know, did the prophet have two wives? You know, many people, as you see, Murray Drew Ali was in that ad or that I just read. You know, uh, we're going to be talking about Pearl Drew Ali and Murray Drew Ali. Family, you think I just gave you just a little something now? Wait till you see how this unfolds. The Murray Drew Ali and Pearl Drew Ali. And then we're going to talk about the Timothy Drew and Thomas Drew. You know, who changed his name and why? See, and this is why. This is only for the serious researchers. This is only for those who are really interested. Because those who are really interested and they really want to support the endeavor, they'll pay $25. And help us build this Moorish nation. Those who are not that interested. Obviously they won't pay $25. And that's fine too. And you can catch me on YouTube. I still haven't put out the hijack of the nation yet. You know what I mean? And I don't know when I'm going to put it out. I got some corrections I got to make in it. You know? Not much. Just maybe two. You know? And then I'm going to bring that back again. Probably next year. So that one is on the top shelf. But if you are in... Philadelphia. Doors open at 3 o'clock at 5445 Germantown Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 19144. Family, I will be there. I will be there. Setting up at 3 o'clock, ready to unload the M-O-A-B. The Moab. The mother of all bombs. You feel me? <laughs> With that being said, family, I appreciate you. Uh, I see you on next go around. And we definitely are going to do it good in real live on Thursday. Because I got to go out with a big one. I've been doing this series for the last week and a half. And so I'm going to have to go out with a big one. You know, shout out shout out to Brother Aganat. Shout out to Brother Jack D. Jackson L. Supporting the channel. You know what I mean? Who else going to support the channel? Huh? Yeah, this is going to be a live stream, brother. It's going to be a live stream. Uh, but what you got to do is you got to buy the ticket and you got to uh, uh, cash app, buy the ticket, and put your email in the comment section. Put your email 
in the comment section. Jonathan Scott Bay says, Sheep, I have to give you your honors. At first I thought you was on some side of that stuff, but see, that's how how you <laughs> Hey, hey family, listen, listen. The Prophet Noble Drali told me very well. The Prophet Noble Drali makes a statement. He said, He said this movement was well planned. He said this movement was well planned. And if we call ourselves adapt sheiks, uh divine ministers, we got to plan well. We got to plan well. And we just getting started. The plan is just starting to be, hold up. What's really going on? It's, 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 just starting to, it's just starting to trigger. Hold up, what's really going on? What do this brother really know? Who the heck is this brother for real? I just come to represent my prophet and come to get our people up out of this mess. You know, but it's going to take workers. It's going to take workers. You know what I mean? Talkers ain't going to get it. The talkers ain't going to get it. All the research and scholarship, if it does not show us how the profit movement look, at this point, what's the daggone point? If your scholarship, if you are such a scholar, then piece this movement together so we can live it. If you are that good of a scholar, Thank you, Sister Charlene. If you are that good of a scholar, appreciate your family, appreciate your family. All of that little two dollars, one dollar, dollar store sell paint brushes. Dollar store sell paint pans. I'm really working. You feel me? So listen. You can be the greatest scholar in the world. You can be the greatest researcher in the world. But if you love the prophet, and you love the movement, then do some scholarly research so we can put this together, so we can live it like it's supposed to be lived, so we can be successful like the Moors and the prophets were. Other than that, man, you can keep your, uh, uh, your research for right now. We're gonna build this nation. We're gonna build this nation like the prophet intended us to build. And that's just what it is. But shout out to all the scholars. Shout out to all the researchers that was instrumental in teaching me how to research. You know, when I look at research from Brother Lord Abba, stuff like that, I always ask, how did he arrive at that? When I look at research from Tudika L, Sharif Anel Bay. One of the things I always ask is, how did they arrive at that? And one of the greatest researchers, my brother and my friend, Brother uh, R. Edwards L. And D. Eddington L. Brother Hopkins Bay. Brother Haru Renisi L. I will always ask, how did they arrive at that? You follow me? I've always asked that, you know. From the first time that I bought this book from Haru Renisi L. You see him? He looked like he, looked like he was... He was like he was skipping high school on this one with the feds on. He better not been. You know what I mean? But the first time I got this book, I always asked myself, how did he arrive at that? You know what I'm saying? Got this a few years ago. You know what I mean? I asked, how did he research that? How did he arrive at that? You follow me? Look at that picture right there. Let me show you. <laughs> can y'all see that? <laughs> Let me see if y'all can see that. Yeah. Look at Ruth. Look at Ruth. Aru looked like he was skipping school that day. Aru know, Aru know he was like 16. <laughs> that my brother. I love Aru with DC. That my brother right there. Y'all be not telling on me either. Y'all be not telling on me either. <laughs> Look at this. He's a young Aru. Thank you, sister, my, my, Marty Bay. Y'all been, hey, Raphael, you been not telling on me. <laughs> You mean not tell on me? I don't want no trouble. You know what I mean? Thank y'all. Thank y'all, everybody, for y'all support. <laughs> hey, brother, that, that's my spiritual advisor. So uh, he know I'm still working on myself. I, said, <laughs> I got jokes. All right. Uh, wait, come on, Hakeem. You know Grand Sheik look. Grand Sheik look like he about 15. He looking real good in this one. 
don't know what he doing to this one. Let me, I got I got compared with his other books. But this one here, I just noticed that. I'm gonna go drill on that book. Look at it. He's looking real. That's <laughs> my brother. Looking like my little brother. Now, honor and and and, and, and all love to my brother Haru Veneciel. Honor to uh brother Lasana Tunica L, um, Sharif Anil Bay, um, Lord Abba, um, uh, who else we got? Eddington L, R. Edwards L, uh, Thomas Bay, um, Chambers L, brothers like that. You know, when I've read their work, I will always ask, how did they arrive at that? And when I start to cross-reference, I see how they arrived at it, and I begin to start the research and make sure that I can arrive at something that cannot be disputed or refuted. And even if it is, and I'm not tripping, like uh, 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 I said something one week, uh, Hakeem Bay uh, was like, um, Raphael had put me on, he was like, um, I said Oriental mean original, and he said Oriental mean the East. Absolutely right. I ain't got no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? But, but let me tell you what happened with that. I learned that Fugazi thought when I was younger in the movement. Oriental means original. You know? <laughs> and I, I, I blurted it out when I know better. But Raphael, check me on it. I'm good. You know what I mean? That's one thing about me. I'm really, really good with correcting myself. It don't matter to me. I just want us to get to the truth. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? I got a lot of Fugazi teachings back in the day. I came through a, I came through a, a, a body of Moors that said the prophet walked in the White House and went up in the cabinet and grabbed the flag. You know what I'm saying? I, I came up with a body of Moors when I was like 18 years old. They said that the prophet uh, uh, jumped on a ship and landed in Egypt and they threw him up in the, 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 um, the, 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 the pyramid and he found his way out. You know what I'm saying? He found his way out. Like, what? And then the same thing, they said that the prophet uh, went to the people and said, why you cut down my cherry tree? And he went to Woodrow Wilson. And Woodrow Wilson wasn't even the president at the time. But I didn't find that out until five years later. I believe that story, that the prophet went to Woodrow Wilson and asked for our flag. I believe that until I find out that the years that they said that he did it, Woodrow Wilson wasn't in office. And I was like, man, man, this is not going to work for me. So I get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't see some stuff. You know, I, I, I've been through some stuff. So, uh, I've been through a temple where they say that, that the prophet went to uh, uh, talk to uh, uh, the, 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 the Arab, uh, um, Saad, and, and he got the name Sharif Abdul Ali. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, hey, he got a holy name. It's just, I was taught that was his holy name, Sharif Abdul Ali. I'm like, yeah, hey, that's right. And then over years, I'm like, why he never name him? Why he never sign his name like that? Why he don't never mention that? Why nobody in the movement never mention that? Who made this stuff up? And I begin to do research and find out that they was making this stuff up as they go along. And so now I cross my T's and dot my I's. But anything that I say wrong, I don't got no problem with being making the adjustment because this is called research. But with that be, being said, with that being said, family, I see y'all on the other side uh, on Thursday. We'll be back. Um, I may even see you tomorrow if you're on Facebook. But if you are interested in seeing uh, uh, this live stream, you know, go ahead to the uh, Noble Temples Cash app. Uh, make sure you put your email there. And when you put your email there, we will make sure you get the link. I'm going to get a test link out probably Wednesday night or Thursday night. Um, we're going to be talking about the Moors regalias, the buttons, the sashes, the fadges, the fezes, the badges, uh, Murray Drew Ali and Pearl Drew Ali, Timothy Drew. And we're going to talk about some of the deeper infiltration within the Morris Science Temple of America. We're going to speak briefly about Claude Green and the relationship with Ju Julius Rose, Ro uh, uh, Rosenwald. You know, he was instrumental in kicking off 
this hijacking, which people that, that, you know, the funny thing about it is that this European Polish Jew was one who was very instrumental in kicking this off. Like he threw the rock and hit his hand. And then you seen the Moors having shootout with each other and with the police. And so we're going to talk about that just, just a little bit. I might spend 30 minutes on that. But for the most part, I want to show you why these changes was made. You know, from many people think the prophet name is Timothy Drew. Some people say his name is Thomas Drew. I'm going to show you what his name is and why it was changed and who did it to the best of my research. With that being said, family, I'm up out of here. I see y'all on the other side on Thursday.